organization is responsible for uh, the um, uh, preparation and coordination of the, the decision making process uh, once we deem something a crisis uh, of national magnitude. I yeah, have been in contact with could be traced easily. And so we had a lot of transmissions in a very short period of time. So mm, protect the vulnerable, but also uh, minimize the consequences both for society at large and for the economy uh, specifically. Uh, we uh, first used the, uh, the, the, the our alert system for the whole public uh, to um, alert them that there was a pandemic out there, 13 million people out of the 17 million, uh, creating dashboards on the fly, but also connecting uh, databases uh, was something that we spent a lot of time. Uh, bars and restaurants needed to close for a long time um, or could only open for um, uh, only a, a small number of, um, uh, of visitors. And again, I think uh, the travel behavior of the Dutch uh, population uh, plays a role there too. We're a small country, so people want to get out every now and then. Design more targeted policies, also with the, the, the contact tracing and the testing. We've um, stepped up our uh, uh, testing uh, capacity uh, enormously in the past couple of weeks. Uh, testing and tracing policies specifically for, uh, for teachers in order to be able to um, uh, give them the, the necessary comfort. And I think... Um, uh, now it's a pandemic. Um, uh, next month it might be um, a cyber um, incident uh, that um, crosses borders. Uh, it might be um, uh, we've had terrorist um, uh, attacks in the past that uh, also had been um, um, prepared uh, cross borders. So I think we'll see m many more of these kind of uh, crises that are uh, transnational in nature.